transformed into a professor. Many people, when preparing for exams, would ask me to bless them. I would do so for each of them. Also, I would ask them to recite the High King Sutra a thousand times, and they all nodded in agreement. Many miracles took place during the exams that included college entrance exams, entry-level government official exams, the bar exams, the medical licensing exams, and all other licensing exams. People would discuss these miracles with relish. Recently, a disciple of mine, Lotus Yi Shi, came to see me. He had been failing his Chinese medical licensing exam on numerous occasions. He besieged, Grandmaster Lu, I've failed my exam so many times. Please help me. I answered, How am I able to help you? I have never studied Chinese medicine before. He begged, But Buddhas have the power to do anything. Resigned, I replied. Even Buddhas can't achieve three things. First, they can't save sentient beings who don't have affinity with Buddhas. Second, they can't change predestined karma. Third, they can't save all sentient beings in the whole world. The Chinese medical licensing exam that you are going to take is extremely difficult. Please put in your best effort. All the best. He said hopelessly, I'm getting less confident by the day. The more tests I take, the less confident I become. The exam questions are all very odd. What should I do? I could only suggest, Why don't you plead with Lord Wenchang? He is very helpful in aiding people to pass exams. You must also recite High King Sutra a thousand times and dedicate the merits of chanting to passing the exam. He took my advice to chant High King Sutra wholeheartedly after returning home. Soon, he had a dream. He dreamt that he was sitting in an empty classroom. No one was around. Then, a professor came in without saying a word. With his back facing Lotus Yi Shi, the professor took a piece of chalk and began writing questions and answers for the Chinese medical licensing exam on the blackboard. His writings covered the whole board. Lotus Yi Shi took a look and found some questions to which he knew the answers. However, he was clueless for some. He tried to memorize all the questions and answers that he didn't know. Soon, the professor turned around to face him. Ah! Oh, he exclaimed. It's Grandmaster Lu! Lotus Yi Shi was astonished. Grandmaster Lu, why are you a professor? Grandmaster Lu smiled and said, Don't ask. Just remember all the questions and answers on the blackboard. Practice them over and over again. Grandmaster Lu threw down the chalk and walked out of the classroom. Lotus Yi Shi saw him riding on a cloud and flying away. In the Chinese medical licensing exam paper, all the questions were exactly the same as the ones on the blackboard in Lotus Yi Shi's dream. He finally passed the test. Hooray, hooray! He came to tell me the good news and thank me. Frankly speaking, I have no knowledge of Chinese medicine, and I'm not a professor of the subject. This incident is equally baffling to me. I could only say, it must be his constant thinking that caused the dream to take place, and because of the dream, he passed the exam. Have you ever dreamt of Grandmaster Lu before? What did Grandmaster look like in your dream?
Have you ever prayed to Grandmaster Lu or High King Avalokiteshvara, Bodhisattva Guanyin, for help in overcoming a difficult situation? 